Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an IoT based temperature controller using ESP32 and Blink IoT platform. With this project, we can control temperature of a place such as a room, greenhouse or an incubator and many more. The good thing is we can monitor the temperature and humidity reading on our smartphone. All in all, this is a useful and interesting project. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely. And then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels. Do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its one pin to V-in pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to V-in pin of ESP32, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin to D21 pin of ESP32 and its SCL pin to D22 pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect DHT11 sensor and connect its VCC pin to V-in pin of ESP32, its ground pin to ground and its data pin to D2 pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to D15 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to V in pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor and its cathode to V in pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D34 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to 3 volt pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D34 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D35 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to 3 volt pin of ESP32. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D35 pin of ESP32 and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to the ESP32. So I have uploaded the code. Now let's add a new device to Blink Web Dashboard and mobile app.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.